Hey, and welcome back to Oaklands. Today we're going to take a look at my second base. I call it the Bocce Build. And I did one of these on Lumber. I'm doing one here. It's a competition build. Well, it's a competition base build. And so with Oaklands, we're going to have to do storage every time. So I wanted to do something fancy and try a few things. So here I've done a Bocce Ball Stadium. Home of the Kinder Classic. I don't know what you win besides the trophy. But I wanted to play with garage doors. And, uh, made shallow storage on this side. Where you can put items. And we had a recent St. Patrick's Day event. And then I've hidden my refinery and forge inside. Which has caused me to split things. So I'll refine things here. It'll drop. If I want to forge it, I'll put it on this conveyor, which will put it right back to the forge and then forge it through. I've got other conveyors I can put out that will move things down the line, but I put them away for the vid and you know they will go in the storage to clean up the base, but not in use. And then just more storage. Here I've got filled blueprints from all the clover we got circles, cones, spheres, just things I thought I'd use in the future. Uh, put the extra conveyors in here. Extra signs I had left over, which might come in handy later. I didn't want to destroy them. And then a metal refinery, which I may or may not move to the next base. So it's been pretty handy. Uh, it's clean looking. Do you like the garage doors because of that? Uh, although there are some downsides. And as you can see here, I've used green mushroom for the grass texture because I had this space pretty much 80% of the way along before the clover came out. And again, the storage kind of got derailed with the St. Patrick's Day event. I suddenly had to make room for medium and dark clover green. So that kind of pushed everything I was gonna store out but other than that I think it came across pretty clean I like the flying pavilions and I did have to build a bocce ball court and a fancy scoreboard I usually do one scoreboard on one of my bases where I just keep track of the competitions I'm in uh, win loser place right now it just shows a bunch of goose eggs but here we go lawn bowling bocce bocce an I. It's a pretty popular game worldwide. And then I got some side lights in the back of the scoreboard. The lighting has been interesting. At the end of the vid, I'll show what this base looks like at night with the lighting. But right now, I've just got two compartment storage for mats and minerals. Again, playing with the building tools and what the needs are for a build. So I could certainly split these into three or smaller mounts for the rare mats. But we'll try two and see how that works. So far it seems to be working out pretty well. Uh, well. Here's one of the downsides with garage doors is that there's an invisible plane. When it's up, you cannot project a blueprint through it. It hits that plane where the door is. You actually have to go through it if you want to actually build or place something so that can be annoying if you're trying to build and then put it through. You'll have to use the arrow keys. It's fine for loading, but building is, is kind of a hassle. Uh, the lighting. Again, it's I've revised my opinion from my first video a little bit. Uh, the lighting is a little bit better than I thought initially, but it is still pretty weak for building. It's perfect for ambiance and I'm still getting used to it and where it can be used effectively. Uh, these side lights so far have been pretty effective for spotlighting. And then once again, I've built my bleachers. I got some of the bocce ball teams in inserted seats. Because uh, believe it or not, some people like to watch me build. Uh, I don't particularly see the thrill in it, but people seem to enjoy it. I usually have a full server and people drop by and hang out, chat, and watch me build. Now the bocce balls are fun. 
I used all the mushroom colors, which is a light green, a purple, a red, and a blue. And then I was able to use one of the clover greens. And you can see I've just got these centered on posts. I uh, based this off some retro bowling signs that I've seen in the past or through reference photos. I don't think I've seen one of these in a while. But all in all, I had to build the storage when in Oakland's. Uh, and here I've got an actual tunnel, which is kind of reminiscent of any sports venue you've been to. And then I put some glass into it to uh, kind of open it up a little bit. But in Oakland's, you're going to have to do storage. There's no easy way to contain this many textures and colors. So right now I'm just kind of experimenting on how to incorporate storage into your build artistically. And that's kind of the trick to, to work it into your build. But I've got a big open field here. I'm all set for competitions when they come. I can do spot builds. Again, I'll put a link up to the card in the corner for the zoo build, which I did in Lumber, which lets me build small spot competition builds on one space. And it looks clean and nice. Let's take a look at nighttime. You see I've got the side lights in the balls. It's enough to read the lettering. It's enough to light up the pavilions. I do like some of the shadows cast, although still using more lights than you would think to get an effective light effect. But it works. And we'll keep playing with it. All right, thanks for coming. And we'll see you again next time.